Another parabola forms when we plot the function f of x equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. First, we build the table. When x equals negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Before we start, we can factor the trinomial to find where the parabola crosses the horizontal axis. We write negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 and factor the negative 1 attached to x just to make things more familiar. We get negative x squared minus 2x minus 3. We factor the trinomial into two binomials, x minus 3, x plus 1. Don't forget the negative sign that has been factored. We solve both binomials when they are 0 and x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. These are the points where the line crosses the x-axis. Please notice that sometimes the x-intercepts are not found by simple factoring and the quadratic formula must be used. To review the quadratic formula, please visit YouTube and write on the top line Jerry Lovada quadratic formula or use the following URL link. Now, let's go back and complete the table. When x is negative 3, the function is negative 12. At negative 2 is negative 5. At negative 1 is 0. At 0 is 3. At 1 is 4. At 2 is 3. At 3 is 0. At 4 is negative 5. And at 5 is negative 12. And so on. Now, if we want to know the exact value of the vertex, we apply the equation x equals negative b over 2a, and we use the coefficient shown as reference in the standard parabola equation. By the way, if you want to see how the vertex equation is found, please visit YouTube and write on the top line, Jerry Lovada, vertex of the parabola, or use the following URL link. In this case, b equals 2 and a equals negative 1. The x value for the vertex is negative 2 over negative 2, or positive 1. We now solve the original equation to find the value of y when x equals 1. But we see that the table already has it at 4. So the vertex of the parabola is at 1, 4. We now plot the equation. 